Hello, my name is John McNamara and now I'm going to talk to you about the Cisco Academy website. If you're in any of the four phases of the Cisco class, um, you also have to do assignments on the Academy website. Now to get to the Academy website, just open up a web browser and type in NetAcad, so N-E-T-A-C-A-D, and the Academy website looks like this, obviously it says Cisco Network Academy. Uh, log in here. Now when you first sign up for the class you should get uh, an email with all your login information. When you log in the first time with that login information they ask you to change the password and possibly your username if you want to. Just make sure that you write that stuff down because you're going to need this every week in the class. Now when you log in, your class will show up here on the left. Now obviously I've got a bunch of classes, so I've seen a, a whole lot more, um, but you'll only see one class at a time. So we'll grab uh, an intro networking, uh, a Cisco Phase 1 class, and I'll click on it. Once you click on a class, all your options are over here on the left. If you want to see what your grades are, if you want to check out assignments, if you want to see modules, that kind of stuff. Typically what you'll do when you come to the Academy site, you'll log in, you'll pick your class, and then you'll hit Launch Course here. Now when you do that, all the assignments and modules pop up. So for each chapter, there's a module, there's a quiz, and the exam. Now the only thing that we require here at Stark State we require that you take the exam at the end of each chapter. Typically there are 10 to 20 questions depending on how big the chapter is. And you typically get to at least two attempts at them. Uh, plus you've got the whole week. So on Monday those will unlock. Uh, typically you'll read the book, you'll attend the lecture, and then you've got the rest of the week to do this exam. If you don't like your first score you can take it again for a higher score. If for some odd reason the first score is the higher and the second one is the lower, we still always take the highest score. So each week you'll click on these. Now mine might look a little different because obviously I'm the instructor. Uh, and then your exam would actually show up here and then over here on the right it would say take assessment. You click on there and then that would get you in. Now to help you, Cisco has a lot of extra stuff on the site. and each module, as we call them, or each chapter has a module that you can launch. So I'll launch the stuff for chapter one, and then launch content. And again, you can access this at Stark Stage, you can access this at home. If you don't have your book the first week, this is a good way to kind of get by. About 60% of the material from your book is here on the website. So again, you, you read through this information, you hit next, read through the information. They typically have pictures or interactive gra graphs, um, activities, videos, all of that stuff. You can make it larger size. And again, you can kind of just go through. Again, you can see they have videos. Some of these graphs are interactive. Now, chapter one's kind of weak. Should have picked a better one. But again, typically you can do stuff like this. Sometimes there's little assignments like matching and things like that just to help you and your if there's just one particular category you want to go to, uh, you can scroll over here on the left and say, oh, I want to look at this, and just click there and kind of go to those individual uh, components. Uh, so that way if you're weak on something, hey, for some reason I don't understand what the components of a network are, then you can kind of come here and do that stuff. So again, that's all extra. You do not have to do this. So from the home page, or the assignments tab, Ooh, wrong one. Just click on home over here to the left. That'll always get you back. Launch course. And again, you can see everything that you have access to. Don't forget, launch course, those are the modules. That's only there to help you um, to reinforce your learning or to help you if you didn't bring your book that day or something like that. Now, the quiz, this is a quiz for the end of each chapter. This is not graded. We don't look at this at all. It has no effect on your grade at all. Uh, some students do this because your final exam is comprehensive over the entire book and it is on the Academy website. So occasionally the questions from these quizzes do show up on the exam. So if you want to do your best in the class, 
Um, I recommend going through the material after you read your book just to see if there's anything new or if there's some graph or interactive activity that kind of helps you to, I guess, reinforce something or to pick something up a bit easier. Um, then do the quiz and see how you did. If you have questions about your how you scored on the quiz or anything, you know, bring it to class. Hey, I saw this question on my quiz. What do you think the answer was? Because again, here on the Academy website, they kind of keep everything secret. So they don't really show you like what you missed or what the right answer was. They'll just give you a grade because they're trying to keep this stuff under wraps. So each week, all you have to do is the exam that covers the chapter we covered. So in week two, we cover chapter two. So in week two, you would do this exam. Now these exams, typically I open them on Monday and they close on Sunday at 11 p.m. And you get two attempts throughout the week. Now, stuff always happens to us, you know, we go on vacation, something like that. So sometime around week 10 to 12, um, I will go back and reopen a couple of these if you have if you missed one or two. Now, if it were in week eight and you missed the first eight, I'm not gonna open those up, you're just gonna take the failing grade. Um, so make sure you keep up on those. And again, they are listed in Angel, but they're actually done on the Academy website. Let me go to Angel real quick. So if you get into Angel and you click on your class, and then you click lessons and you go into a week so here in week two if I hit assignments and then wait there's always a tab that says hey you 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 know assessment two is due now in angel we call them assessments so that you can kinda keep them straight anytime you see the word assessment there's typically a Cisco logo here so you know this is on the Academy website and we also say hey this assignment can be found on the Academy website so if you click on it Obviously, there's nothing there, so again, it just tells you, go there. It's just a reminder each week that this is the one you need to do. If it says Assessment 2, you need to do Chapter 2 uh, there. So again, the only thing that's due on the Academy website are the exams at the end of each chapter. So there are 11 exams, and you have to average a 70 across all 11 exams. So that means if you take the first one and you bomb it and you get a 60, but then you take the second one and you get an 80, you're getting your averaging 70. And don't forget, you get to take each one twice. So if the, for some reason the first time you don't score as well as you wanted to, you can take it again. Now, we do not move these grades from the Academy website over to Angel. This is a pass-fail component of the course and it's required by Cisco. So if you get, let's say you're getting a B in the class in Angel, but you have not done your Academy assessments, we still have to fail you for the course. So make sure you're aware of that. This is only pass-fail, so as long as you get a 70 on one of these exams, I would say stop there and move on and do something else uh, with your time. Read your book, go through the lectures, your notes, that kind of thing. Um, it doesn't help you at all to score you know, an 80 above a 70, if that makes any sense, because these grades do not move over. It is just pass-fail. You only have to average 70 across all 11. So again, you can bomb a few and then do good on a few and you're going to average 70. If you have any questions about that, please bring them up in class. Okay, and anytime you're in here and you want to get to some other place, just hit home and I'll take you there. If you want to check your grades, just hit grade. You can kind of see your grades in the Academy website and then you can add your, uh, your exam grades and see if they average 70 if you have any question about that. Um, but other than that, we don't use any of the other stuff in there. Now, one thing we might use, if you go back when you first log in, when you first log in, this is what it comes up. Remember, your class shows up here. If you scroll down to the bottom, it says Explore Resources. Now, here's where all the cool files are. So if I click on this, the first one is Cisco Aspire Networking Academy Edition. Now, what we do with that one, that's the game that interacts with Packet Tracer that we'll talk about next. Um, and it allows you to kind of take the role of a consultant in a, in a little Sim City kind of thing. And you take uh, jobs and you go to the store and buy equipment and you configure routers and switches. I'm um, going to grade you on business sense, money management, things like that. So we'll do that in the first week. We'll actually run through a mission or two on the, uh, on the Aspire. But if you like that and it was fun and you want to try it at home, um, the Aspire Academy Edition is right here and that's where you download it. Now, Packet Tracer is what we use in the class to simulate your lab environment so you don't have to go out and buy a bunch of routers and switches, and you can find that right here. The current version is Packet Tracer 6.1.1. Um, just grab the student version. Again, you can install it at home. It's already installed on the computers in class, um, and it's great to have. Again, uh, and we'll do a tutorial on that too. So if you have any questions, don't forget, go to it, the Academy website. is just netacad.com, 
n e t a c a d dot com. Um, log in. You'll see your class here. Just click on it, and then all your assignments are there when you hit launch course. All right. Thanks for watching.